Oh great, starting this vlog off looking like a slimy egghead. This morning has been one of those one of those days that were already really testing me. Got Delilah up and baby just casually standing up. Are we just standing up? Good girl. Clever girl. Look at you. We've already had all of daddy's stuff out. Uh, she found his box and has now scattered all his stuff all over the floor. As I was saying, um, this morning, about quarter past six, got Delilah, came into the living room, was looking out the window, distracting her because I was trying to remember which booby I had fed her on before she went to bed last night so that I knew which boob to feed her on this morning. And then I thought, yeah, okay, cool. I know, know which side I'm feeding her on. Colour went to go round the coffee table and I don't know whether I tripped over the coffee table or like, you know when you accidentally think you've missed a step when you go down the stairs it kind of felt like that I kind of felt like I was trying to dodge something but there wasn't something there and I tripped myself up or I tripped over the charging cable for my laptop I don't quite know what happened but I went flying it happened in slow motion and I somehow managed to stop me and Delilah falling into the coffee table managed to stop her head hitting on our little like wooden um rocking it's not really like a, a traditional rocking chair, but I guess it's still a rocking chair. So I managed to stop Delilah's head going into that. Delilah was left untouched. I had to keep her in both my arms. Um, I think I was carrying her with one hand, but I knew we were going to fall. So I put my other arm around her. So obviously I didn't have my arms to fall on. And it was one of those times that you fall and you're going to fall. Like you just can't stop yourself. But my poor knee has a massive graze on it now from obviously hitting the carpet. It's not too bad now. Like it stopped stinging. But I've now got this uh, graze on my knee. Doesn't look that bad on camera, but it feels pretty bad. It really stinks. So, yeah, that was a really good start to the day. And then all Delilah's done for the last, like, two hours is cry and cling on to me and scream and whinge. And she seems all right now. She's had breakfast and she's now being a menace and making lots of mess. Oh, did I actually say I've got a hair mask on? got a hair mask on not just greasy <laughs> well that lasted for all of five minutes and now she's whinging again i'm sure other parents um know what i'm talking about when you're just literally just like stop oh my god just stop whinging that's kind of how i feel this morning i know what are we gonna do this morning calls for a second coffee. I never have two coffees before nine o'clock, but I really need one. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna make another coffee just before I put Delilah down for her morning nap. Time for bed, little bunny, says Mother Bunny. Little bunny was gazing up at the night sky. I wish I could visit the moon, he said. Are you saying hello? Are you going, good night, guys. I'm going for a nap. Delilah's napped for over an hour. She's not done that in the morning for what feels like a really long time. So yeah, that was very much needed this morning. I just needed that break to have a shower, do my makeup. I've now got to blow dry and straighten my hair before we head off to monkey music in about an hour. But yeah, let's go get her. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I've now got to straighten this. It's feeling lovely and soft. I used my Marilyn hair mask as per usual and also my Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil stuff. It's like a heat protectant, protector, protector, heat protector spray. And it's really lovely. Funny enough, it's actually the tester that I got with two full price bottles that I paid for and it's the tester products that I actually love. So yeah, once I've used up the tester, I'm probably gonna get the big bottle because I really, really like it. This little one is making, sorry, I need to, I haven't got any trousers on, so I'm just gonna like cover up my button, but this little one has been making even more mess. Mama, mama, you say mama, mama? Mama. Mama. Yay, clever girl. <laughs> You're standing up on everything today. 
like you clever sausage the top i did plan on wearing today is um actually in the wash i've just gone for this gingham uh, smock top which used to be a dress uh, as some of you may know last summer just before i had delilah i got it taken up so i could wear it as a smock top and i do love this top I just, every time I wear it, I just don't feel the best in it because it just kind of reminds me of just having a baby, feeling feeling a bit naff because this is kind of all I wore for like a month after I had Delilah. All right, Pickle, we're going to go in a second. We're going to go in a second. Your foot's stuck in your thing again, isn't it? Should we get your foot out? There we go. There you go, your foot's gone. There you go. Let me have the camera. Can I have it? Oh, thank you, got it. Thank you, my love. And I'm going to take this bag and cardigan. Pop it, what is up with you today? Look, do you want to play with Mummy's bag? <gasps> Mummy's red bag. Ooh. We won't really have any time to do anything before her lesson. So I'm going to walk into town. I'm going to grab a coffee as usual. It's like my thing that I have to do. It's like my vice. I like just getting coffee out every day. So yeah, I'm going to wear this yellow cardi from ASOS. Last time I looked online, they had... Um, gotten a load more stock in because the first time I got this they have sold out but they have um they have more stock of this in so I shall link it in the description this I can't link because it's a really 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 old ASOS dress that I got about five years ago um, and then I'm just gonna have my red uh, accessorized bag and that'll do for today's outfit I'm just checking that I have managed to straighten every single piece of my hair thank you thank you should we go to my music yeah, she's good to music. Sadly, Delilah's, oh, hang on. I might need to straighten this bit of hair. That's going to annoy me. But sadly, Delilah's best friend isn't going to make it to monkey music today because she's got chicken pox. Hoping Delilah doesn't get it, but we'll see. It won't be, hopefully, if she does get it, it's not going to be too bad. Be comfy. <laughs> no time to get coffee. I'm going to have to get coffee afterwards. Made it just on time. Got a minute to go. on the way back from monkey music this class that she's currently in is getting so difficult because the second she can crawl properly she just doesn't want to sit on my lap anymore and so she's just crawling around everywhere and like probably half of the other babies are crawling and walking around everywhere as well and it's so hard especially because i hurt my knee this morning it's been really hard like crawling around on my knees with her so in september she'll be going up to the next class which I think that class is hi ho monkey music and at the moment she's in rock and roll or something I don't know they've all got different names for different age groups and I'm hoping at that one I can just let her crawl around freely and I don't have to keep grabbing her because every time I grab her she gets really annoyed and then she throws a little tantrum because she doesn't want to be on my lap I just got a text from Doug to say that he's on his way home and um, so she, he should be home by the time she goes down for her nap or wakes up from her nap for lunch we are trying baked beans for the first time aren't we these aren't heinz baked beans <laughs> if you were worried about the sugar and the salt there's no sugar and salt in these these are uh, like kids baked beans so it's all flavored with um vegetables so you're having some baked beans on toast and i i think she likes it i'm not too sure there was someone in another video i, I can't remember it was maybe like last week or something and they were like Oh, cuck. I can't believe you don't, you know, you just put the food on Delilah's high chair for her, treating her like a dog and whatnot. And I'm like, 
if anyone's wondering why I haven't got that on a plate, that's because there's no way the plate is going to stay on that high chair. I've said I'm not going to keep justifying myself in, in vlogs. Um, I just wanted, for anyone that was genuinely like, why, didn't she, why hasn't she got a plate? I just wanted to say, well, it's because the plate won't stay on there. Um, she has a bowl that she'll have like yogurt out of and she'll spoon feed herself a little bit, but usually it just goes on her hands and she licks it off her fingers. But she's still so young that it's not teaching her bad manners. It's just, she's still at that age where they just need to explore the food and have fun with it i mean they say food is just for fun up until one years old but delilah's been on like three meals a day and snacks since she was like seven months but yeah she, she's good with a bowl and we have it suctioned onto the <laughs> onto here but um she does manage to get it off and um there's been a couple of occasions where it gets chucked um she's got getting a lot better though like she doesn't want something she won't chuck it she'll hand it to me so we are learning but yeah it's not going to teach her bad table manners i just i don't know it's such a ridiculous comment no baby sits there with a plate and a knife and fork and is like oh do you look very nice oh, mom, 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 mom. that's how babies eat at her age delilah don't put that on the floor please Yeah. I think she's really liking the beans though. She's eating every single one of them. They're by this brand here. Little dish. Little is that on it? Yeah, little dish. Proper food for kids. Baked beans. Oh, I found these in boots. If I get some stuff out of the freezer now, that means Delilah's got some stuff for dinner tomorrow. Just got to find it. Oh yeah, we have this shooting stars tuna pasta. I need to see which thing was frozen first and I'll give her the oldest thing. Uh, although that wasn't that was only frozen like a week ago. That's mushroom and lentil pasta sauce. Right, let's get you cleaned up. Then we'll have some yogurt, shall we? Yogurt and banana. See mummy drinking from her straw and then you wanted yours. What are you doing? Stinky bottom! Stinky bottom! There she goes. Bye bye! What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you gonna have your drink? 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 Are Yeah, whilst that one does her thing over there, so I'll give you the lowdown on what's um what's happening today. So if you watch the naming vlog, um sometime during that vlog I mentioned that it's mine and Doug's anniversary this weekend. <laughs> I don't know 
what she's doing. <sighs> Mine and Doug's uh, five year anniversary tomorrow, 1st of July. Very nice, easy one to remember. Yeah, it's our anniversary tomorrow, so we planned on going out tomorrow night to a, a restaurant bar place that I've liked the look of for a long time. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hey, now, now she's gonna run away from me. So, yes, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, I think I can't. I think it's called the Switzerland Fig or the Fit. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's one of those ones that you go past all the time. And you think that looks really nice, but you've not. I've never actually paid much attention to the name. So yeah, I really want, really wanted to go there. So we said, okay, we'll, we'll go there in the evening. We're not gonna bother with anniversary presents or anything like that. The money that we would have spent on presents, we'll spend on a nice meal out. So we were gonna do that tomorrow night, and we were gonna take Delilah to her grandparents to have her stay over the night there am i making any sense over i feel like i'm jumbling my words again hello hello yeah delilah was going to stay at her grandparents tomorrow night um but they have this uh thing that they're going to so um she can't stay around tomorrow night so we asked if delilah could stay over there tonight dog's working tomorrow so um dog was like oh well okay um we'll just maybe go out tomorrow night but delilah will have to stay here and i was like no, I was really looking forward to having like a little bit of a sleep in at some point this weekend because I never get to sleep in because I'm always the one that has to get up with her because I, I I feed her as soon as we get up in the morning and obviously Doug can't breastfeed her and I can't really sleep through people making noise in the house anyway. So I was like, no, I really wanted to sleep in. Um, sleeping for me would probably be about like mm -hmm. seven, eight o'clock, but still I just wanted to get up in my own time. <gasps> Look at you standing. Are you standing? Are you standing? Good girl, well done, well done. <laughs> Standing. But they said Delilah could stay around tonight if she wanted to, and we'll go out tonight. And I was like, yeah, okay, because um, Doug hasn't got to be up too early for work tomorrow, so we're gonna go out tonight instead. Doug will go to work tomorrow morning, but I'm gonna be able to have a lion, which is gonna be really nice. I'm gonna be able to. Just get up in my own time, get the work done that I need to do tomorrow morning with no interruptions. Oh, your hair's coming out. Should we take that out anyway? Because you can't wear that in bed. <laughs> you got a nice little quiff going on. So yeah, that's that's, that's basically what's happening. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to talk to the camera. <laughs> Where's your thingy? Do you want to put that on it? So yeah, that's um, that's the plan. Me <laughs> Cute darling. One foot. One foot. Yeah. Another foot. Yeah, good girl. Yeah, well done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> good girl. I am going to start filling out my new 2018 diary that I got the other day. It's exactly the same as uh, this one. I had the 2016 one of this and uh, then I loved it so much that I got the 2017 version. It's uh, Kate Spade. I get asked about it a lot. I kept my uh, first one. I, I should really throw it away but I just loved it so much. I didn't, I, I don't know, I don't really want to throw it away. Cover up my phone number. But I just love how big and spacious they are and uh, it's got this little slip on the uh, front where you can pop in like uh, stuff like invites and stuff. So this is our invite for Melissa and Ben's wedding. And then I, I just love how it's laid out. It's got a section at the front where you can write down everyone's birthdays or any other important celebrations. There's always a notes section um, in each month which is handy i never use it but it is handy if you need to write notes and then these are what the months look like so you can see the whole month across two pages which i love it just makes it very easy and then you can go on to the week by week section again you can just see the whole week in front of you so you can kind of space out what you need to do or it's just really easy to make plans and see when you're busy and when you're not and there's lots of room to write and it's nice and big i just really like them but because i had this uh cream and gold one for the last two years i decided to get uh this one instead which is kind of like a watercolor floral print instead and it looks pretty much the same slightly different colors i still prefer this one but because i've had this for the last two years i just wanted to change so um yeah this one actually has stickers in it which the um the last two didn't sorry i'm whispering a little bit because delilah's just gone down for her nap but yeah i've just been sorting out delilah's classes for the autumn term because her current classes finish in about two or three weeks 
and then they break up for the summer holidays. So I've been sending over my payments and booking onto those to make sure that we get a place. So I'm going to start with writing those out in this and then I've got some other stuff that I'm going to transfer over from this diary over to the new one. I'll leave a link to them in the description if you want to check them out because I cannot tell you how often I'm asked about my planner. Every time I show it people are like where, where did you get it from? Oh it's so nice. And usually I have to say well it's not really available because it's a really awkward time of the year but she's just brought out her new planner. Doug's home and Delilah's currently in the bedroom with him. He's just had a shower and I can I can hear Doug playing peekaboo because Delilah's laughing. But yeah, Doug's home now, so um I'm gonna carry on with editing. Doug's gonna take Delilah out to just get her out of my hair so I can just focus on editing because what happens if I try and edit, even if she's playing with Doug, she keeps like trying to come over here. We're gonna hopefully get to Doug's parent in time for Delilah's dinner. So Delilah can have her dinner there as she's sleeping there. <laughs> What's that face? Oh, careful. <laughs> I'm heating myself up a bit of soup because I've just realised that I've had toast this morning and then I had a muffin and that's it. So no wonder I'm feeling a bit crappy. Yeah, I'm putting a jumper on because I feel like I got so accustomed to the weather being like 30 degrees over the last couple of weeks that it's now like 20 and I'm like I am freezing. I mean it's fine outside but it's actually quite chilly in the flat. Pop my jumper back on, my trusty cosy jumper. This is from Monkey, I think. So yeah, I'm heating myself up some soup and I'm putting this jumper on. It feels like it's winter all of a sudden. Just got my favourite uh, spicy lentil soup heating up here from Marks and Sparks. Almost done on the edit for today. Um, we've got like 45 minutes until we've said so that's what I was saying. We've basically got 45 minutes until we really want to leave. Okay, I've only got about five more minutes to edit of the video and then I kind of, I really just want to have it like ready and I have no idea what the thumbnail or the title is going to be. Once I can get that sorted, that'll be cool. I can get that up tonight before we go out. I'm trying to get everything all sorted and done. So this evening I'm really enjoying not doing anything really. The last floon of this year is now edited. Oh hang on. No, this is no, this is the last floon. What am I talking about? The balloon that I was editing today that's gonna go up tonight um is edited. Just need to explore bought it why don't i have permission to save in oh for goodness sake oh it can just go on my desktop for some reason it won't save on my external hard drive right so that's exporting now i'm gonna i'm probably gonna have well yeah i will have to finish getting it up after i definitely have stuff all over this lens oh, there we go that's better i'm gonna get some of delilah's stuff together grab her some dinner so she can have it at her grandparents and also need to get my laptop where's my laptop i need to take my laptop because um I can do some invoices on it whilst we're at Doug's parents, um, while she has dinner. We're all set to go to Nana and Pops. Yeah, they go have a sleepover. Whilst Delilah has her dinner, hello. Whilst Delilah has her dinner, I'm gonna get on and do some invoices that I need to get done. So I can't, obviously, like I could have sat here and sorted the thumbnail and some of the description out for today's balloon, but it's all on my computer at home. It's quite nice to give Delilah her dinner here for once when she stays here because the last um, handful of times, and well, the only times that she's come to stay here, it's always been a bit of a rush and she has dinner at our place and then she comes over here and then as soon as we arrive here, she's pretty much having her bath and then going to bed and she always settles and she's always fine probably a little bit much for her sort of just arriving here and then all of a sudden she's been putting in she's been put into a, a, a travel cot that she's not normally used to so yeah it was quite nice to, that she can settle here and have her dinner Delilah <laughs> do you enjoy your dinner <laughs> mm. back home clearly <laughs> I was feeling all like good about 
tonight. I was like, yeah, go out, have nice food, have a drink. Lila's usually fine going to her grandparents and um, I'm just, oh, by the way, I'm just topping up my makeup. Oh, it goes so like dry around my chin. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, um, Lila usually is great at night time. She never really cries when we put her down. I mean, naps are still quite tricky, but she does go down for most of her naps now. It's rare that she doesn't not go down, but she always goes down with a fight for her naps. But nighttime, she's amazing. I'd probably say maybe once, twice a month. If that, she might cry for like a couple of minutes here at nighttime, but that, that's, that's it. And I mean, that's as bad as it gets touch wood and then at her grandparents there are a handful of times that she has stayed there she'll maybe like fuss for five minutes tops and she'll fall asleep not even that like last time she fussed for like a minute and that was about it and then she slept for the whole night today was a completely different story and i got really quite i got quite upset actually because oh, i don't know my mother's instinct and all of that it just i felt like she was really upset um, and it took her like half an hour to settle. I was like, I'm not leaving until she's settled. So um, yeah, I mean, I think she's gone to sleep. We only have the like the BT monitor. We haven't got the video monitor set up. By the sounds of it, she was asleep. Usually she's in Doug's little brother's room, but he's back from uni at the moment. So they put her in Doug's old room and she's not used to being in there. And I think that put her off. But I think the main thing that put her off was um, the fact that it's really not very dark in there. I mean, Alistair's meant to have, um, Doug's little brother's meant to have blackout blinds in his room. They're not that blackout, like they do still let in a lot of light, but they they do dim the room a fair amount when it's still light like this. But in, in Doug's room, his blinds um, are just like linen and they just completely let in the light. And I don't think that was helping the situation. Like she'd never been in that room before. She could see everything. Apparently Doug said she's got a really bad nappy rash all of a sudden because of her teeth that are coming through. They've cut through and obviously they're just sort of like pushing through and now she's got more teeth moving around. So yeah, quite upset. It's put me on edge a little bit, which is annoying. Um, but hopefully, I'm hoping we're hearing nothing from Doug's mum or I'm hoping we're hearing something from Doug's mum and she'll go, yep, she's still all good. As soon as it gets dark, I'll feel a bit more comfortable that she'll sleep better. But yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. So, uh, where, where was I going with that? So yeah, I'm just topping up my makeup because it is running off my face. And then I'm just going to get changed. So yeah, Doug and I are going for a meal because it is our five year anniversary tomorrow. I'm trying to think, do I need to straighten my hair? No, I think my hair will be fine, right? I need to get dressed. I think I'm just going to wear my go-to dress at the moment and I'm just going to wear uh, this one on here. I'm just going to wear this dress. Link's in the description. It's half price on ASOS at the moment. Unlike this dress, which is also in the sale, but I bought it full price and then it went in the sale about a day later and I'd already worn it so I couldn't return it. Table's booked for eight and it is uh, like one minute to eight. Um, so we got to go. But quick outfit of the day. Well, out of it of the night, really. This dress, which you've seen lots. All Saints jacket, Kate Spade bag, the usual. I've got my, my Topshop boots on. Just realised I've got lines from the seams of my jeans down my legs. And I don't think they're going to go anytime soon because they're really deep. And I haven't tanned my legs all week. <laughs> and I also haven't shaved, so they're feeling a bit fuzzy. But luckily, thanks to... Uh, Thanks to being fair skinned and uh, blonde hair, you can't actually, I don't think anyone can notice. This is the place that we're at, you can't really see it, it's called the Bitterland Swing. This is amazing lighting, oh my goodness. I don't, I don't particularly like it when it's all cloudy and overcast, but like the lighting good for the vlog. We spent a good sort of 45 minutes at the bar because um, the table wasn't ready. There was still a couple sat here having their food. So we just waited at the bar. We were like, hey, we're uh, free parents for the evening. So we've got uh, pretty much all the time in the world. We're sat down now. We've got a nice glass of wine. And uh, we're just waiting for our food now. Our food just arrived. Look how amazing this looks. I got a uh, cod with I have no idea what else, but it's cod and, <laughs> cod and this amazing stuff. And a side of chips. Just got 
dessert, Doug went quite safe and got a chocolate fondant. And then I got this, uh, to be honest, I can't remember what this was. It was some sort of meringue, meringue or another thing, I don't know, meringue. And I know that's a basil sorbet. I'm not quite sure what the other stuff is, but it still looks amazing. Oh yes, yeah, it's got some sort of pistachio in it, and I don't know what else. <laughs> We need it back home now. That was a really, really nice meal. Hang on, I'm just trying to sort my bag and that out. But yeah, I was, I was, I was expecting it to be nice in there, but I wasn't expecting really how nice it was going to be. Like I, I kind of thought, you know, the, it always looks nice when I walk past it. And oh, bloody blinds! I honestly, right. I'm gonna hang on. I'm, I'm having a bit of a bit of an ordeal with the blinds right now. I pull them down, there you go. Manually pull them down, put you guys up here. But yeah, it always looks nice in there and I, I thought it would be nice, but I wasn't expecting it to be like the sort of food where you go, oh wow, like this is good. Like honestly, I'd probably say like my favorite restaurant that I've been to maybe two or three times is a restaurant called Asia de Cuba in London. I think it's down St. Martin's Lane. No, or it's in St. Martin's Hotel. Um, and I'd honestly say the food tonight that we had was like below it if not like somewhat matching it like um it was like small portions but just like oh wow like really yummy yeah it was really pleasantly surprised i'm definitely going there again i'm gonna change my battery over because then i'm, I'm gonna say good night but i know my battery's gonna run out just before i say good night yeah good meal oh i need to clean my teeth and take my makeup off oh i'll show you my new makeup cleanser remover thing that I got yesterday in a second actually. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. It's got like evening prim primrose oil in and lavender and apparently it's for all skin types. As you guys might know, I mentioned it a few times, my skin is just not happy at the moment. I feel like once I hit like 19, 20, my skin just kind of has been going downhill. Um, I had like amazing skin as a child and a teen and now as an adult it's actually worse than it was as a teen. So it probably isn't this but i have noticed that when i use my lizelle cleanser and you guys know i love it um i still i'm still using it um but i have noticed that although it's amazing at getting my makeup off i do notice that it just smushes my foundation around a little bit on my cheeks you can come and spit your toothpaste if you want you don't have to wait <laughs> So yeah, I picked this up because I I love me a little bit of kills. Since I got my time of the month back after having Delilah, I feel like all my hormones have just like gone eee. I feel like pregnancy hormones are really like my body likes being pregnant or like at least like having the hormones. Because when I when I was on the contraceptive pill for a few years, when I was um sort of an, an older teen going into my early adulthood, I noticed that I was able to keep on weight a little bit better, which I know for some people isn't great, but for me it was great because I just can't naturally keep on weight very well. When I was pregnant with Delilah, again, I could keep on the weight really well and I was really happy that I'd managed to gain weight. And also like when I was on the pill and when I was pregnant, my skin was great. As soon as I'm not pregnant anymore, as soon as I come off the pill, my skin's like, eee! it's obviously a hormonal thing. But I just thought if I can at least try and like make my skin as clean as possible when I am taking my makeup off, then it hopefully will do better than worse. Pump it out, it is literally an oil. So completely gif different to my Lizelle one. So obviously my Lizelle's a cream. Definitely melts my foundation a lot better than my Lizelle one. Within a couple of like rubs on my face, my foundation's just gone. It's just melted, disappeared. You're meant to rub it on your face. And then once you've sort of evenly put it everywhere, you're then meant to wet your fingers and kind of emulsify it, if that's the right word. Yeah. Before I used my Lizelle cleanser, um, I would always go for makeup removers that were oil based. So, you know, the ones that kind of have like the oil sitting on top and you have to mix it together. I'd always go for those because they're just the best at taking makeup off. So I think this is why this is so good because it is an oil. It feels really nice as well. Like I could just rub my skin all night. Now I need to take it off. Put my moisturiser on and about to get changed into well not my gym jams because I don't like to sleep in my in my gym jams, I just sleep in my in my knickers, it's the comfiest. Um so yeah I thought I should probably end the vlog before I go to bed. That's it guys, that's the end of Bloon. Been good, I really enjoyed it. 
Um, but I'm also looking forward to just not being on such a strict upload schedule, even though I'm still going to try and upload as much as possible. Just try and film at least one video at the weekend and then one video during the week. That's two videos a week. Yeah, I'm really tired now, so I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep. And um, I'll see you. Well, I'll see you in like two, three days. I'll be back soon. Say good night. 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 First impressions of that face cleansing oil stuff. I really like it, so. Yeah, it might, might be my favourites next month on my other channel, who knows. As long as it doesn't break me out or make my skin do anything to ye, then yeah, I really, really like it. And I've just used the face oil to match with it, like the actual serum. And it's not too, like, greasy, it's really lovely. So um, that was the tester that they gave me. So if I like that, I might get that as well, because it's really nice. But you're meant to put moisturiser on top of it, like, after you've put it on. So I'm letting this soak in and I'm going to put my usual Lizelle moisturiser over the top. Yeah, no, right, I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.